If this lands on tails, you are free to go and enjoy the rest of your day. But if it lands on heads, ho ho ho, you're under arrest. Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. Several of you have requested that I do a video about this coin toss arrest that happened in Georgia. A woman is pulled over by two officers. The officers decide whether or not to give her a ticket by flipping a coin. A head, our tail. Okay. Now, the incident itself actually happened in Roswell, Georgia, back in April. Officers Courtney Brown and Christy Wilson are deciding on camera whether or not to arrest somebody based on a coin flip. And this female that they were talking about is Sarah Webb. Now, Officer Brown told the woman that she was doing over 80 miles an hour on a wet road and that it fell under reckless driving. As Officer Brown goes back to her vehicle, you can hear her talking to the other officer, admitting that she does not actually have a radar or LIDAR device. Officer Brown tried to justify this by saying it took her 90 miles an hour to catch up to this person that was speeding. Here's the kicker. Officer Brown and Officer Wilson use a coin flip app on their phone to determine whether or not they are going to arrest Sarah Webb or just issue citations. A coin flip app. Now something I haven't really seen in comments of other videos and maybe this is just something I'm thinking about, who has a coin flip app on their phone to begin with? I didn't even know they made coin flip apps. The fact that this officer had a coin flip app on her phone makes me wonder how long has she been using this app, uh, you know, to determine whether people keep their freedom or not. If you are going to gamble the freedom and the future of another person, at least have the common courtesy to use some actual currency. Coin flip app. I wonder if Officer Brown uses this app to make any decisions in her life. And I use quote with officer because I don't know any cops that use a coin flip app or even real currency to determine whether somebody's going to jail or not. 95% of the time, I already know what my plan of action is going to be whenever I make a traffic stop. 95% of my stops alone are verbal warnings. There's a few citations, but those usually only come up when something else comes up on the traffic stop. Suspended license, no insurance, things like that. But most of the time, whenever I stop somebody, I just give them a verbal warning. I don't even put it on paper. I don't put them in the system. It's just a friendly reminder. Hey, get your taillight fixed. Hey, get your headlight fixed. Even when I was in the traffic enforcement division, I never used any type of a coin to determine whether I was going to give somebody a ticket or not. Here's on the other side of the fence, let me throw another argument at you. At the same time, you cannot say, and I'm not standing up for what these two officers did, don't misconstrue that, but at the same time, using a coin flip is showing non-bias. Think about that. That's going to sound like I'm justifying what they did. I'm not justifying what they did. Now, let me just take a second to add my two cents. I did not mean for that to be a pun. I don't support or condone what either one of these officers did. I think it's ridiculous that they would put their faith into an inanimate object, like a phone, to determine whether somebody's going to be let go or not, and possibly ruin their future. Now granted, reckless driving is just a misdemeanor in Georgia, but still, it has a huge impact on your driving record. UPS will not be hiring her. Part of being a police officer is having enough common sense to be able to make a mature decision on charges or being unbiased in general. Now, some people are gonna argue that a coin flip, it doesn't get more non-biased than that. And I agree to an extent, but I don't think you should gamble somebody's freedom on it. So yeah, that's it, that's my opinion. I think both those officers need to be let go because if they're doing this with a small traffic infraction, imagine how they would handle a major case. Can I have a penny for my thoughts? Just make sure the penny lands on tails. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I will address them accordingly. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their week, and I will see you guys very, very soon.